Yeah, and it was like all these old texts and all this old stuff about witchcraft, and it was really cool. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> but it had all this old cool stuff, P- paintings and things. Neat. It was really neat. Um, this book was used until the 18th century. Wow. And it spread all over Europe, and it was printed multiple times um, because they needed it to fight the witches. Of course, because everything that happened was the witches' fault. Yeah, and this book came in three parts. Um, part one emphasized the reality and depravity of witches. Of course. Disbelief in demonology and witchcraft was condemned as heresy. So just by saying, I don't believe in witchcraft, means you're a witch. I was going to say, it means you're a witch. Yes. If you say, I don't believe in that, oh my God, you're a witch. <laughs> like, that's all you got to say. So you, everybody got to believe or you're going yeah, be... to get burned up. Yeah. Right. Part two was stories of the activities of witches diabolical compacts they made with the devil Ooh. sexual relations with devils transvection which is night riding on sticks fun and metamorphosis neat yes part three the legal procedures to follow during trials torture was a way to secure confessions any witness <laughs> may testify against the accused no matter what their history is so anybody can testify. It doesn't matter if you're the town drunk or the town whore. You can testify against a witch. And, and if you can you be five, word is you can taken be four years gold. old. You could be a demented, crazy person. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't matter. Everybody's word is taken. The task was to exterminate those whom Satan had enlisted to his cause, and torture was the perfect way to do that. Because then you're getting rid of the. If they die, then you've cleansed them, and they'll go to heaven. Um, burning does that too but you're gonna as long as you get a confession and i'm sorry when you're stretching somebody on a rack and their joints are gonna popping say, out yeah, I, I am they're gonna say anything to get you to stop yeah <laughs> torture usually <laughs> especially brings out any this kind is of like confession. torture beyond like any torture right like vlad the impaler was a different level of torture because he just tortured because he liked people to torture yeah but he wasn't trying to get them to confess to anything no. he just wanted you to torture you he just wanted to cause these guys pain. basically did too but they got money from it as well right right well and able to to solidify and make it sound like it's so oh, this is real validate what they're doing Ca- torturing to confess is perfect because they're going to confess no matter what because it's such pain this um thing passed by the pope that he had them these men write this right. book um they adopted that they called that the carolina code and that was the enforcement of witch oh. torture basically Interesting. and like german austria the czech republic switzerland eastern france the low countries which i did not check to see what that meant it's probably just like all those little countries down there northern and central italy they all adopted the carolina code and torture and death as punishment for witchcraft. And God. if they died during, when they were tortured, it was still okay because then they were going to go to heaven because they were basically yeah, so, tortured. Yeah, well, they were around. innocent, so it's fine. They weren't innocent. But it if they ma- were innocent, it wouldn't matter because right, they go to heaven. They still went to heaven, so it's okay. Yeah. Okay, now we're moving to France. We're, we're This was just general European okay. stuff with the Pope. And most of the the continent is what they refer to as that part of Europe. Gotcha. They're under the rule of the Pope at this point in history. No matter the country, they follow what the Pope says. Of course. Um, witches were burned as early as 1275 in France. Like Wow. Right. Um, and I'm going to go into a little bit of, like, one of the people that they persecuted in France were the Templars, the Knights Templar. Um, and they were founded in 1118 by veteran crusaders to protect Christian pilgrims traveling from Jaffa to Jerusalem. Because this is, like during and after the crusades okay and and in between so like they wanted there was there was christian pilgrims that wanted to go to jerusalem so these crusaders these templars their job was to take them from one to the next safely so they could go visit the holy land um the order of the knights templar was officially recognized in 1128 by pope honoris the first they had to swear an oath of fraternity, poverty, and chastity to the point where they could not even kiss their own mothers. Like, you couldn't kiss anybody because you had to take this <laughs> vow of chastity. Yes. They had to sleep fully clothed in lighted dormitories so they weren't tempted to pleasure themselves. Ew. Yes. So you're in a room full of men and they couldn't take their... How do you bathe? I know. They didn't bathe. 
Ew. Can you imagine how smelly they were? They stunk. Awful. No one wants to have sex with them anyway. They're so um, stinky. <laughs> they were known as Christ's legal executioners. Everybody wanted to have sex with the crusaders, the Templar, because they were probably very fit because they were knights. Yeah, but they stunk. They st- everybody stunk them. Oh, that's true. So, yeah. They, everybody wanted And the fact hot, that they knew right. they couldn't have them is probably why they They probably them. were hot. Yeah, you're right. They probably were. Yeah. Damn it. I'm sure many a romance novel was made about the Knights Templar. I'm going to go find some. <laughs> There's probably tons of Knights Templar. Okay, here we go. 100 million. They were made to hand... Once they joined the order, they were made to hand over all their worldly goods. Okay. All, everything right. that they had. Um, which made the Templars extremely rich. Because it all went into, like... They had their own banks. They had their own, like... Because they traveled a lot. So they had a way to transfer money between the two two places. So they were, like, some of the first banking systems oh. that were around. Was the Knights Templar. So, um... We fast forward a little ways. In the year 1307, Philip IV of France, who was heavily in debt to the Knights Templar Bank, he borrowed a lot of money from them, probably for wars and whatnot, he ordered the Templars arrested on grounds of heresy. He forced Pope Clement V to allow him to seize their property. Oh, (gasps) wonder. They must have been terrible, huh? Um, the Inquisition that was installed then, because there's been Inquisitions on and off through Europe for right. a while, then began to torture confessions from them. 36 of them died under torture, refusing to say anything. Um, and in 1310, 54 were burnt at the stake. So all those stinky hot Templars, Templars were killed. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a shame. Yep. And in 1317, I think eventually Pope Clement... He said that they weren't guilty of it, but at that point, the f- the king of France was like, "It doesn't matter. The stuff's mine." He, they were thrilled with <laughs> all this, all their wealth. I know. He just wanted to not owe them money, and he wanted their money. Yeah. So it's what you do. Yeah. Ugh. In 1317, Pope John the 22nd, XXII, 22. Yep. Um, he was a very superstitious pope. He believed. That his enemies were trying to kill him with sorcery. He's probably Ooh. old. A lot of, most of the popes were old. He's probably old and senile. Yes, He's very are superstitious. Old. Still to this day, they're old. Yes. Um, and he started to torture those he suspected. So, like, he's like, oh, these people are trying After to kill me. me with sorcery. So, we're going to start to torture it out of them. And in 1320, three years later, he ordered the Inquisitor who was at Carcassonne near Toulouse in France to take action against such sorcerers. And there were trials in 1330 and in 1335 where 74 people were accused and the trials continued there for the next 70 years. And by 1350, a thousand people would be prosecuted and 600 burnt at the stake. Wow. Yeah. And in this area of the world, in 1431, Joan of Arc was also oh. burned at the stake for witchcraft. Yes. And between um, 1428 and 1450, 110 women and 57 men were burnt at the stake at this time um, in France. <laughs> um, in the 1500s and into the 1600s, a number of people were burned for lycanthropy. So it means they were werewolves. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, so like some man gets attacked by a wolf and he wounds the wolf and he follows it through the woods and he comes to a farmhouse where he sees a woman bathing her husband's wounds. Mm-hmm. You're a wolf. What? You're a lycanthropy. <laughs> I mean, that's like how it starts. And then they bring what? him in and torture him. <laughs> yes, I'm a wolf. Oh, this man's a wolf, and my cousin, my my brother, and my nephew are so wolves, too. it's the same too. idea. It's the same idea. It's like, it's a different form of witchcraft, because he can transform into, into another animal. And, and there was a bunch of them. All. There were so many. I'm like, do these people honestly think a human being could turn to a wolf? Have you not watched movies, Margaret? <laughs> that, new, that new Red Riding Hood one is that, really good. Is it good? Did you watch it? I have I it on did. my it's list. It's really good. To watch. It's really good. I liked it. Okay, we're going to go to Germany now. Okay. Because we're jumping around. Germany was terrible. I bet. Well, they're not known for being not terrible. <laughs> That's the history. This is the start of it. <laughs> um, they guesstimate that there were close to like 90,000 people executed or like 90 to 100,000 people what? executed in Germany for witchcraft. For witchcraft? <clears throat> there were that many people back then? I, there? That's what I thought. I'm like, was there anyone left? <laughs> 
<laughs> so many witches were burnt in Wolfenbüttel <laughs> in Brunswick in 1590 that an observer there said the place of execution looked like a small wood from the number of stakes in the ground <gasps> afterwards. Wow. Like you look out, it just like a wood where they cut all the trees down. That's crazy. Yeah. In Nice, Silesia, I'm saying these <laughs> terribly, the executioner there, he built an oven. The burning this, oh. this is all burning the stake was too much work, right? So um, in 1651 alone, the one year he roasted <gasps> to death forty two women and girls. <gasps> That's girls. horrible. Over what a mess. over nine years, this man roasted over a thousand people, including children two years old. <gasps> yeah. For witchcraft? Yes. A two year old. A little two year old is a little girl, so she's gonna grow up to be a witch anyway. So probably. we're just gonna kill her. Yeah. That's awful. Mm-hmm. Most of the persecution took place from 1570 to about 1648. There's like spurts. Mm-hmm. Um, in Germany, as in France and Scotland, the cost of a witch trial was taken from the estate of the witch. Of course. Or was. their relatives. Oh, great. Yes. Benefiting, let me see here, uh, benefiting the witch finders and his executioners, judges, clerks, torturers, guards, clergymen, and the laborers who cut the wood. They all benefited directly because they had a job. Not to mention the innkeepers who people would come to see the spectacle of a bunch of people being burned in the thing. The noblemen, the bishops, and the king all got what was left of the estate after all these other people were paid. Yeah. So, So, of course, they're doing it. Everyone's benefiting from it. Yes. Family members were even charged the bill to the for the banqueting of the judges and priests and advocates before the burning. So, like, they had to pay for their banquet that they would throw themselves. Good, that's great. They would. We're gonna have a party before we kill your relatives. Family, yeah. And you're gonna pay for it, even if they were found innocent, which they rarely were. They still had to pay. For, for the, all the all shit. That. Yep. They still had to pay for their torture. They had to pay for all of that. Right. Even if they were innocent, they still had to pay them. <laughs> Isn't that and nice? <laughs> so you just probably were like, just kill me because I'm not going to have any money. <laughs> it is said that there were towns in Germany that had no women or girls left alive after the Inquisitors oh my God. came through. They killed all the women. Like little towns had no women Do left. they know how... Babies are made? Yeah. Like, do they realize you can't procreate? I know. I know. I'm like... What? They just had to go find new ones, you know. They're they're cheap, you know. Just go pick one out somewhere. Yeah, they didn't have to worry about consent then. Nope. Just go find one. Horrible. Drag her back home bound and gagged. So, yeah. They, there were, were a few towns they said that were, like, hard That's to, insane. There were, like, no women left in the town after. Either that or they ran away. That's <laughs> why so I right. would be like, <laughs> I'm bye. <out>. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> See you later. I'm going out I'm to the out. woods. I'll be that hag living in the woods in, in a old cave. Hag. <laughs> and that old hag with crazy hair living in the woods. Okay, so now we're going to the Spanish Inquisition. We're going to Spain now. Okay. And this is the one that lots of people know about the Spanish mm-hmm. Inquisition. Yeah. Um, the Inquisitor General of Spain, was name was Tomás de Torquemada, which is an awesome name, even Very though he was a is. horrible person. Who, in the 15 years that he was the Inquisitor, was personally responsible for burning more than 100,000 people. I don't even, I can't wrap my head around that. <laughs> they said in the thing that it was 200,000, but there are, they said that that's like a gross exaggeration that the Protestants okay. used. Because this was Catholics at this point. Mm. Like, you go into England and it was Protestants. And in the Puritans were Protestants. But in the rest of Europe... Was the that was the Catholics. And it was sanctioned by the Pope at the time. Um, but he hated Jewish people. Oh. And he loved the to persecute Jewish them. people. Yes. Even ones who had converted to Christianity, he still accused them of witchcraft because they were born Jewish. And at this point, this is after they made a lot of rules where if you were Jewish and you lived in the big cities, because they were very highly populated with Jewish people... Um, you had to convert to Christianity or you had to leave. So a lot wow. of them left, but the ones who stayed converted, and these ones he still would say, oh, no, yeah, you're, you're Jewish, Jewish, so... You're done. Didn't matter. They said, no, I'm Christian. No, no, you can't be. He joined the Dominican Order, so he was a monk, 
um, and was one of the few people who joined that did not join the church for wealth and power.